in this video i am going to introduce you to yet another very cool generative ai tool which you can use to download and play around with your llms or ai models locally offline in windows or in the mac os with this new tool which is called as faraday.dev you can download the models and then you can chat with your ai characters you can create your own AI character such as Mark Twain, Shakespeare, or anyone from the history. And then by using the power of large language models, you can talk with these uh, AI characters and they will respond to you in the same way which entails to your character. So because models are aware of um, Shakespeare, Mark Twain, and all the people in the history, so whenever you assume a role of a character and then use this model, Faraday Dev will allow you to do that. So Faraday Dev is primarily a chat application for engaging in rich, immersive conversations with AI-powered characters. As I mentioned, you can build your own bespoke characters or select one from their community-driven character marketplace. And um, from there, you can get a diverse range of role-playing experiences. Faraday's chat engine is powered by LLMs that run directly on your personal device hardware. That personal device could be your own laptop running Windows or Mac, or you can use any cloud instance, such as EC2 instance in AWS. This local processing ensures complete privacy and prevents any form of third-party interference. No one can revoke access to your data, filter your conversation, or change the behavior of your character. And you don't have to pay anyone like OpenAI monthly to use their model. You have downloaded the model and you can use your own model offline. Cool. That's out of the way. Now, in order to use it, first thing you need to do is to go to this website, which is faraday.dev. And let me make it a bit bigger. So this is faraday.dev. And from there, simply click on Windows if you're using Windows or Mac OS on Intel or Mac OS Apple Silicon. Once you click on it, then you will see that it will be downloaded. Then click on open file and it is going to open the setup.exe. Let's wait for it to come up. There you go. And it's a simple, very familiar Windows installation by next, next, next. And you can see that it says at least 8 GB of RAM recommended. So this is my local laptop with around um, 32 GB of RAM. It should be good, I believe. And then plus you would also need the memory in GPU and memory in your system for whichever model you are using. Okay, so it is still installing. Let's wait for it to finish. Just understand and agree. Continue. And there you go. So this is the console of Faraday. I would really like some sort of dark um, background. I'm not sure if I can do it. Let me see. View, full screen, minimize. Okay, I don't see any dark uh, template for it, but maybe I'll keep searching. Maybe I'll find something. Because if you see their demo video, they are using the dark one. Anyway, so let me make it a bit bigger. Now, on the left hand side, this is all um, your um, menu items. On the bottom one, you can see you can learn more about it. You, go, you could go to your Discord channel, Twitter, and other social media sites. On the home button, you can um, start downloading the models and playing with it. But let's hold on to that. Let me first uh, go through everything. I will come back to the create characters uh, later. Click on character hub. So character hub is a place where people have already created a lot of characters. So you can start using them. So there you go. Someone had already created their own, maybe Steve, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Anyway. So. Um, and then you can use feature, role play, enemy, chatting, women, helper, and then you can go on and on. Manage model, they have um, already provided a lot of models there, which you can download. I think there are 100 plus models, and uh, you can use either one of them. For starters, maybe we'll start with something small. For example, this code, Lama Instruct B, maybe, uh, but it is, it is a quantized version, but it is good for code generation in chat setting. Let me find something else. 
maybe we will go long term conversation. Let's go with Cynthia 7B. Let's click on um, maybe this one, Open Hub Mistral. Let's go with this. Let's click on download. And you can see it has started downloading and download speed is quite good. Okay, it says fail to download and no space left on device. Okay, no problem. I think I will go and increase my space. Maybe I'll clean it up. I'll come back to it later. Nice. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll change the download location too. You can change it from here. I'll get to it later. Let me first show you the settings. So click on settings. Now in the setting, oh, there you go. System light dark. I'll go with the dark one. Now, um, my name is here. I can put in my own image or my character's image or whatever. And then my computer has 32 GB of RAM, as you can see. Um, if you are an advanced user, you can do a lot of stuff. GPU support. You can select your GPU by, by the drop down and then so on and so forth. Maybe, okay. I need to install the driver so that it will be able to see it. Okay, no problem. And, um, this is a create character one. Let's come back to it when we have downloaded the model. So let me go back to home. What is that? Okay, it has manage models. Okay, I think I would need to reload it. Let me close this and reload it. So I have deleted some of the files from my system. And now you can see that it is asked, I have reloaded this <clears throat> Faraday and it is asking me to resume. So let's click on resume here. Now it is downloading, which is great. And you can see that one cool thing I have found out about this Faraday is that it also takes your system resources and then it puts in a tag, uh, which is like recommended in front of that model because it uh, believes that this can be uh, added or run on your local system. So this is good. Let's wait for it to download fully. It shouldn't take too long. You can see that it is, it is quite nice. I believe it is around four, four and a half gig. Let's wait for it to finish. It's a quantized version, Q4KM. But it, and it is saying that it has a good balance of quality, generation time, and resource usage. Cool. Only 10, okay, less than 5% remains. Almost done. That's great. Okay, the model is done. Beautiful. Now let's go to create character on the left hand side. Click here. The model which we have downloaded has already been selected. If you have multiple model downloaded, you can select. Um, and then I will just call it maybe Mark Twain. Basic is fine. Not going to put any image at the moment. I could. Uh, let me do it just for the fun of it. So there you go, I have downloaded the Mark Twain's image from web and then I have put it in here. Okay, character display name, I will just call it Mark Twain. So it means my name, it's my name. So I'll just call Mark Twain, character's real name. Okay, I'll just call it Mark Twain. And then character persona. Character, this one, character is a knowledgeable and detail and precision okay so here as you can see i have defined the persona of this character which is character is and this is a variable which will be replaced by this is a humorous ai assistant who responds in a witty way if you want you can click on this advanced setting and then um, give it more uh, background on it which will be quite helpful and then you can set uh, all the other stuff which you want but I'm not going to do it I'm just going to go to basic and start click on start chat and it has started the chat here so maybe let me ask it what is your name and what do you do let's see model is starting up so I believe first time because it loads the model and everything the first time it will take some time. Let's wait for it to finish. It is generating the spawn. Okay. 
nice you can see that how cool is that okay let's talk about mark twain a bit um which one is your favorite book out of all the books you have written let's see if it is able to recognize that it is uh, Mark Twain. <laughs> you can see how cool is that. Uh, it is a flooded that you think I've written any book. Very witty. Yeah. Um, apart from being greatest humorist of all time, you also used to be a river boat pilot. How was that experience? Let's see what it comes up. That is making it up pretty cool. It bats virtual arm. Amazing stuff. Very nice. Tell me some joke. Let's ask it to tell us some joke and then we'll finish it up. Okay, so I will leave you to um, judge the quality of the joke, but pretty cool. And you can upload the chat, you can post it to Hub. I, and I believe you would have to log in uh, by on the top left by signing in uh, to that Hub at faraday.dev. Anyway, um, very interesting, I would say. And then there are a lot of character hubs there. Okay, it is shutting down the model. Okay, that is fine. Maybe um, I can select any other one. It seems a bit cool to me. So there are a lot of stuff here by people, which people have uploaded. Yeah. I'm not going with Tesla. Maybe I'll just go with Dragon Queen Natalie. There you go. And it is using Llama 2, Luna, AH7B1. Pretty nice. And you just have to download the character from here, like this. It is downloading the character so quick. It has already uh, done it. So maybe I'll just ask, what is your superpower? Model is starting up. So one thing I want to know, okay, so it is uh, using our own model because if you see that when we were downloading, it said that it was trained on Llama 2 7 or 70 billion. So, but here you can see on the right hand side, it is using the model which we downloaded. Cool. Yeah. Let's wait for it to download the model or in other words, load the model on my system because it is using the same one. So it has loaded the model and now generating the response to my prompt that what is your superpower and then you can see that it, it is also printing out uh, some of the gesture and the answer is i am a storm dragon my elemental power is that of lightning and i can manipulate it as i please very nice so that is cool and then if you click here there are two responses and you can rate it from here Nice. So, pretty cool, I would say. Uh, I will just say yes. Shutting down the model. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you're already using it or if you're aware of any other use cases, please let me know. I'll be happy to create another video on it. And um, I'm very impressed by this, by the way. I think uh, pretty fun thing and I'm not sure if there is any API access. There could be a lot of applications which can be built by integrating with this thing. Anyway, uh, all in all, good experience. I hope that you liked it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.